Welcome back to the Pioneer Sideline. I'm your host, Aaron Cooney, bringing you episode 141 of the Pioneer Sideline. And when we left off, I told you we're going to talk a little softball, so let's get right into it. Point Park had four games on the road. They had a nice break there uh, before Easter. All the teams got to go home and do their own individual things, but business was done there on Tuesday, taking on Fairmont State for two games. And we're some pretty high-scoring affairs as we take a look at game one. The Point Park Pioneers would drop that first one. Uh, in a score of 9-5, to five. the Fairmont State bats 10 hits, 4 home runs in that one. Uh, Skidmore 3-4, for four, 3 RBIs, that coming off of a 3-run home run in the third. In Game 2, though, Point Park, in comeback fashion, would get the win 9-8. to eight. Uh, They trailed 6 nothing after 2 runs, but they were able to battle back 6 runs in the bottom of the 6th to come back for the win. Moran 3-4, for four, 2 RBIs in that one. Case Re- Kate Reese, in relief, goes 5 and a third, 5 hits. Two earned runs and three Ks to fill in there and help out. Actually, Kuna got roughed up, giving up six runs in a in one and two thirds innings pitched. Going to go ahead and bring in Kelly Reed here to join us. And, and Kelly, taking a look at that Point Park, they've been on a bit of a run as of recent. But uh, when you run a pretty solid team in Fairmont State, but to battle back and get a win the way they did in that second one at least, uh, huge for the Pioneers in their spirits. Yeah, definitely. With that second game, I think it really showed the heart in this team and how they can come back at, um, being down that many runs and just producing that kind of stuff that they haven't been able to in past years. It's really an accomplishment for them for this year. And then first uh, loss, they just had some trouble pitching. Kelsey Robertson trying to battle back from that injury. But Case, Kate Reese, as of recent, has been very solid pitching-wise. Uh, she had coming in relief in the second game there and also in relief in the next series that we'll take a look at Kelly uh, vying for a starting position I would say on the mound. Oh yeah definitely these girls needed that in the beginning of the year because they didn't have these pitchers from previous years they had newcomers coming in they had freshmen and it it's great that these girls are stepping up to the plate and showing that they can be starters. Taking a look at Point Park uh, on Wednesday the next day taking on West Liberty a home series for them the doubleheader in game one, Point Park getting the victory 3-1, to 17-12 record for the Pioneers. Navarro goes 2-3, for three, scored two runs in that one. Point Park, though, would not be able to handle West Liberty in game two. We would lose one to nothing against West Liberty. Reese going five innings, no runs, one hit, six strikeouts. Johnson for West Liberty, five innings pitched, two hits, no runs, and nine strikeouts. And a team that's 7-30 and 30 overall in West Liberty, Kelly, uh, this one was striking to me that Point Park couldn't get a victory and, and, and against possibly a team that they should have beat. You know, sometimes I think you have these type of games. Every every major league team even has these type of games. It's just an odd game that you don't see happen a lot. And, you know, you can't look at the game like that. You have to look at overall the season, how it's going. You know, their batting is getting together. Their on-base percentage is going well. The freshmen are stepping up along with the returners who are making more of a presence in this team. So I don't think that game shows much of what these girls are capable of more than the season does. Now we take a look at the season like they did. They had the, a bit of a losing streak there in Florida, and things battled back going one and one splits and doubleheaders and things like that. But have they finally worked out the kinks in this lineup to get the team together to a, uh, make a run here towards the AMC? I believe so. I think Coach Hino came back and she really worked these girls hard and to see what possibilities they had and what strengths they had and were able to make this lineup better than it used to be at the beginning of the season. Definitely with these newcomers and the freshmen, like I've said, they've definitely made their presence known and I think they're they're just getting started in, um, in how well they're going to be this season. And we will see Point Park needs a few more wins here. They got a big lineup coming up next week with eight games on tap. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. We're going to step away for another quick commercial break. Bring back in Chris Hoffman. Take a look at the road ahead for both the baseball and softball teams right here on the Pioneer Sideline. 